Yes, um, I want to say good day to everybody. Uh, indeed, this God has been wonderful to us. God has been gracious to us. Uh, so I'm always thankful for the privileges that God has given me, not because I merit it, but because God is so gracious, gracious enough to blow me some things and then um, I get some entitlement, I get some privilege. Now, I want to welcome you to this platform. This platform is called The Reality, where the essence of the platform is to hear some things that will provoke you, that will charge you up to move as you ought to move. If you need to run, run. If you need to, <laughs> to crawl, crawl. If you need to fly, you fly. What, what is important, you are not in the same spots. And that's what the reality is all about, what is real, even as a child of God, the things that are real. So I'm always privileged and I always use that English every now and then for those that know me very well uh, to be fathered, I mean, to use that English, by fathered and mentored by great men of God. Even those that not even see me don't know that they have one picking uh, hiding somewhere. Uh, and so you see, most of the time I bring in their videos. Uh, bring in their materials, bring in their content, share their content also. On so on the reality, I have another father. There are issues when it, there are issues when it comes to money, there are issues when it comes to finances, and many uh, Christians are ignorant of this. And this person has an authority in it. So I stumbled on a video. I was looking for what to share. So I stumbled on this video. I'm talking about uh, the person of uh, Pastor uh, Olumide Emmanuel, Reverend Doctor Olumide Emmanuel, um, the he said we should not be calling him senior pastor, the head, the general overseer worldwide of Calvary Bible Church at Idimu, um, Idimu uh, at Idimu. There, I stumbled and the conversation they were they were having like a conversation, just like an interview, and they made some powerful statement, very few minutes, and I think it will help your life as a child of God. So join me to welcome to this platform, the reality, Reverend Dr. Lumide Emmanuel. And please, it is important, you see on the screen, you see on the crawler, some of our programs that we, are, we will be having. One is beginning, one has begun uh, yesterday. So please, look at those programs and then join us. Most of those programs, except for one, are visual. So join us to participate in those programs. There's another program coming up tomorrow a platform coming up tomorrow just like this reality we have another one called the spirit coco talk about um relationship talk about marriage talk about how things can get better for you um and i have another guest tomorrow and that's in the person of uh he's not a nigerian i stumbled on one, uh, one of his videos and i think you need to listen to it and that's in the person of uh, steve harvey a comedian entrepreneur um, actor, all those things like that. People that we grew up watching their 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 film, and uh, and you, you need to hear him. So join me again to welcome um, Reverend Doctor Olum de Emmanuel. God bless you. Creation. Can I pay tight and be poor. Yes. I sow seed. Yes. I give. I gave my house, gave everything. Where am I still poor, man of God? Yes, you can pay tight and be poor because the Bible did not promise you prosperity by tithing. Read your Bible. The Bible says, if you bring your tithe into the storehouse, mm -hmm. I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Mm -hmm. Singular, not plural. Mm -hmm. Tithing empowers you with things that money your with your things that money cannot buy. So when you bring your tithe now, it empowers you with idea. Mm -hmm. If you don't use that idea, you will remain poor. It empowers you with opportunity. If you don't maximize that opportunity, you will remain poor. Do you know? Because the Bible said the blessings of the Lord it make it rich. The blessing is not riches. So you can be blessed and poor. And the God that gives you power to get wealth, He does not give you wealth. He gives you the power. You now have to use the power to create the wealth. So, so if you don't use the power, you now you are now a powerful poor man. 
So that power is idea, is gift and talent, is opportunity, is faith, is work. Is, so, all the, so that's why when you pay your tithe, the power is released. But are you now using the power? So we have a lot of powerful poor people in church, and we begin the hey, prayer is the prayer is the key, prayer is the prayer is the master key is a lie. Prayer is not a master key. Prayer is a key. There are many other keys. There are doors that prayer cannot open. Forgiveness is the one that will open it. There are doors that prayer cannot open. It's giving that will open it. So we need to have understanding of that balance in, and balance it up so that you don't say, hey, but I've been paying my tithe. Let me ask you a very funny question. You know, there is no nation that pray, pray like Nigeria. We are very, very good Christians here. How come, in spite of our prayers, they don't pray in China, they don't pray in Germany? What is wrong with us? There's a difference between the person of Jesus and the principles of Jesus. The person of Jesus, when Jesus was alive, he was a human being. But he was preaching, teaching, and giving parables, and revealing the principles of the kingdom. You see, the person of Jesus will give you peace and guarantee your eternity in heaven. But it is the principles of Jesus, the principles of hard work, goal setting, time management, discipline, diligence, all those principles are what will produce abundance so many people that are not born again they have embraced the principles of jesus and they are prospering even though they have rejected the person of jesus so they are going to enjoy heaven on earth while they are going to hell but we the church we embrace the person of jesus and we now reject the principles thinking that the person is enough and when we begin to teach principles they say we are turning church to just talk 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 what you need is pa 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 as if power is just to fall down and before me in the mouth so many of these nations you are talking about they embrace the principle and do you know the, the painful part most of the principles that turn these nations around are in the bible they took it from the bible the bible is the source. they took it from the bible the scripture you know what the lord told me today unbelievers are thinking christians are praying unbelievers are thinking strategically you know once you know I, i've always told our people that every problem is a business every problem when somebody comes to you i have a problem what the person has done he has brought a business proposal to you